Nasty little frogs, Nurgle. Right, so we've got... Three and oh Nurgle. Right, so we've got three and oh Nurgle. He's got one Nurgle Warrior block. Everything else is nothing. Um, it's a pretty impressive start, really, we know. These <laughs> Nurgle are going to be sad. Um, he's got he's got a big strength advantage, so this isn't easy peasy. He does have a big strength advantage. Right, go back to mummy. Bye bye. Right, you gonna shut the door? So, right with a big strength advantage. Um, I need to target the warriors or the beast. He's got a player with block. He also has a massive strength advantage, Ardvac. So um, there will be none. There won't be some, some sea of two dice blocks. And if I'm not careful, um, I'll get two dice blocked over all the time. And then it's like a, a, a momentum shift. So we need to be creating the momentum to make sure that we're getting the two dice hits in. Uh, so in that case, we'll definitely offense. Uh, oh, it's a draw. Unbelievable. Uh, he's got one bench. One bench. Okay. Oh, Kilted Warrior, hello. Um, I missed the Sunday stream. Was it, was it the World Cup of the weekend? No, it wasn't the World Cup this weekend. Um, it was me playing at a, it was playing at a tabletop tournament, but the World Cup is in about 90 days, give or take. In fact, I don't think it's as that far away as that. I think it's in a month. Isn't it? <coughs> oh, James, how you doing? Not in long. Good luck for CCL push. Um, James, are you not around... Um, after stream then. So, um, it was, yeah, kilted. It was all right. We, we went all right. Um, I finished sixth overall, sixth out of 30, um, in a field that contained five players that would be, maybe seven players that would go going to World Cups and they'd be strong players in their respective nations teams. So it was a it was a good field, very good field. They had um, we had top pro elf coach there in the world, top noble uh, sorry top um, uh, necro coach in the world at one point. I think he still it was. Uh, we had third place dark elf coach in the world. Um, two team captains of different nations. I mean it was a bloody strong field. Really good, really, really good field. Oh, right. What are you doing in knots, James? So it was, it was good. I'm allowed to pick up doubles for 30k, so Wolf gets instant MB. Oh my god, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wet Panda Warrior. So if you have 160 TV to create a, a nice new Necro team for a league, 60k this can be spent on skills. How would you guys spend it? I'm allowed to pick doubles for 30k, so Wolf gets instant MB. I can only stack normal skills. Uh, give both Wolves Mighty Blow. Move on. Literally, they're done. Because then you're not relying on doubles for anybody. I, I, I wouldn't... I, I wouldn't even go any further than that. It would just be... That would be my luck, skills. Good Andy. Hope to see you in Dawnburn. Um, who said that? Oh, Rydar. Make sure you're in our Discord channel, Rydar. Uh, there's a Discord channel called Dawnburn. Um... And it is specifically for, you guessed it, Dawnburn uh, stuff. So we can um, try and make sure that we can meet up, catch up, do all that sort of fun stuff. Um, do I want to be hitting... Well, they haven't got regen. But taking out one of them would be quite strong. No, we, we, keep, we stay strong here. We stay strong. And... You can come forward. 
and I will trot over and punch you in the chops. In fact, let's have you there. Let's have you there. There we go. Right. There we go. There we go. I know. I know what we're doing now. But yeah, yeah, seriously, the reason I go with Double Mighty Blow is because for the long-term development of the team... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's both claw hits gone. Uh, for the long-term development of the team, you really, really, really want to be... Um, oh, that's nice. I'll take the two claw hits if I get a casualty on a random chuff. Awesome. And suddenly the world becomes fine again. Um, did it stun the beast? It did. So if I punch the warrior... I can then use you in an assist. That's a shame. We can then use you as an assist here. Uh, I'll punch you down. Hey, we, we, do you know what? If you know you start your screen, start your turn. If you've got a casualty, um, you would be happy. One, two, three, five, six. Yeah, I, I am, I am happy with that turn, even though that's a shame. Because I got a casualty. There we go. They unstun, and we're a player up. <coughs> yeah. Hey, Pike. Um, did you see the T-shirt? By the way, look. I know. I know. I know I'm going I'm to talk about this about three times because I'm really excited about it. Have you seen the T-shirt? Look, look, look. Look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? The whole the whole merch thing was done so I could have my own T-shirt. It's probably a very expensive way of doing it, but I have got my own t-shirt. I'm well excited. Cheers. Oh, Robbo, thank you very much. 11 months in a row, bloody hell. Ouch. Do they come in a colour? Um, look on the... And I'm not, I'm not trying to sell them, but... Um, look on the... Um, the thing down there and there is a link there's loads of different there is loads of different colors and stuff it's okay to say <laughs> yeah but i'm really excited about it. panda i'm genuinely really excited about it it was um like it was the reason for doing it because i could have my own bag and my own t-shirt um because when I saw it, I was like, yeah, we won't, it's not like we can suddenly make thousands of dollars and go, um, Andy, so why did you leave your job last year? Oh, it's this merch I did for my channel. Yeah. Um, it's, it, that's not going to be the reason, is it? He's very aggressive. I wish I had a frenzy player. I really do wish I had a frenzy player. Right, how do we get out of this? So back to the blood bowl just for a second for a laugh. How do we get out of this? Um, I think we start we start by trying basically to maximise our blocks. I think, um, and to see whether or not it's possible to generate some form of claw hit. So, um, I don't really want to bl blitz that with claw. Um, we've got block and he doesn't. So you're standing up. That's. Almost a no-brainer of a move. Because if we knock that over and we put the ball over here, that'd be all right. We can push the claw in a square. That's also available. So if we go... 
Although if you haven't, he hasn't got the beast active. So if we go block, push. No, block, don't follow, step. Right. Rubbish. What's on the table? Oh, in that case, that's on the table, isn't it? We'll need to follow that up. That can stand up. This is really complicated. Um, that will be two dice. And that's a shame because that sadly opens up the beast. Stay put. But then we get this guy back. Which, if it gets, if it works, we can then tag this out. That's a shame. So it didn't work. So we'll have to go this way. And then the ball can come over here. And we're not letting you out. And then the ball can come over here. So that's the reason for the ball coming over here is to get away from that. Um, we've got one dice, sorry, two dice uphill or two dice uphill. I'm going to leave the rest of that. So we've managed to give away some blocks here. Look, he's got a block there, he's got a block there, he's got a block there. Um, that's bad. Gruff, hello. How are you doing? Um, it was a really nice, not really nice to meet you, by the way, um, at the tabletop. Gruff, by the way, for those of you who are watching, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he's a very nice chap. He's a very, very nice chap. Hey, Mike. 18 months in a row. Will I go. ever catch up with Gruff? Mike, well, if you turn up to the tabletop tournament, um, you might have done. He still owes me a beer. What, Robbo? Gruff owes you a beer? Gruff is a nice chap, but a bit of shit in blood bowl. Now, Gruff, how am I going to introduce Thurnlow? How am I going to introduce Thurnlow if, you, if you've gone and stolen that? Hmm? Thurnlow, the chap that likes Kemry. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to introduce him. <laughs> not a shift is gruff. <clears throat> Hello, Rugbit. Oh, God. Well, I'm going to apo that because I'm not being a player down. Chubstep could ch chum with no, not in that, not in that one. Marsum, good evening. CJ Pring, CJ Prog liked cake. Well, who doesn't? <laughs> so there's a lot of hits available. We're gonna have to actually think about this turn because I'm gonna have to leave chat for a second. And we're going to have to pay attention to uh, the hittage. That's just annoying. That's a doubly annoying. That was a two dice my choose. Okay. 
What the fuck? Oh, fuck off. So that's because I'm not paying attention. Oh well, back to chat for two minutes then. Back to... Yeah, I think that was a good idea. Yeah, it was a pretty catastrophic failure, wasn't it? Pre yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd, I'd say that's probably a 9. Evening, Killjoy. I can't do anything about it, can I? Porca Dio. Absolutely, Mumbo. Oh, turn one and I wasn't paying into fucking attention. So I moved a guard chorf in to start the two dice blocking. And it wasn't a move, it was a dodge into two tackle zones. Right, it doesn't matter, was it a dodge into a tackle zone? Then it was my first action, yeah. After having after him having a pretty good turn as his turn, Sean put a tuck wing. Oh, do you remember that? It was a it was a, um, uh, a dwarf blitzer, wasn't it? He dodged it into like a billion tackle zones. Oh, I just want to put my guard player in these million tackle zones. It'll be a six. First, oh yeah, it's a six. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was just ridiculous that move. We've all done it. I've done it with some Camry Tomb Guardians. Maybe I'll get out of it. I don't think I will, but I might. Well, I don't think that was the move. I think I'd have blitzed here and just carried on. Do you think Mortis Rigor will be an offensive team there for a Necro team? No? Should it should it be? Um, this turn could have got worse, couldn't it? This, yeah, this turn could have been loads worse. Okay. Right. Goblin, I'm afraid you need to stand up and mark that. I know it's not a great option, but you do. I need to start by blocking over there. Right. You over there. Do I follow that up? So I can have one dice there, which I think we'll take at the end of the turn. I've got block. We'll run you in there. Now I can have the claw here. Hit. I'm going to block away here as well. Evening all. Good evening, Woodard. Um, do you go in there? Do you just go there? One, two, three, four. You're not going in there. What's that warrior going to do? I'm 
think we'll do this. Right. Woodard, I will say hello to you properly. I'm, I'm just having to dig my way out of a massive problem that I created for myself. You know what it's like. Make one giant fuck up, deal with it for the rest of the game. Um, that's a four plus. You can go there, don't you? You go there. And I feel like we're just about... Starting to dig our way out of this. We'll follow that up. Yeah. That doesn't look as bad as it did. At, at Porcadillo times. Not long ago. Woodard, hello. Good evening. Um, oh, it's actually rigor mortis. Yeah, rigor mortis the other way around, yeah. Hello, Tyranno. And Dimmy G, welcome. <laughs> Hello, uh, uh, Blackman. Right, so back to this for a second. Um, yeah, optimally, I think we got that there. Uh, we can put that there, and you can have two day, two dice there, actually. I think we can resolve this. You can have one dice on the ball carrier if he wants to dodge out and have a go. Um, presumably, I'm going to lose this little mini battle I've got set up. Uh, what with the beast going and being annoying. Uh, and next turn, if we can, we need to start generating a bit of forward, forward movement. But I think we're going to probably spend next turn consolidating this little win and this little win here. And maybe if we can pick up a removal or two um, without these two going off field, we might be all right. That's good. Cyclone, sir, how are you? Six months. Ten months. Ten months, not six months. Ten. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. Wormthrax, how are we? It's lovely seeing all these, um, oh, how's the chuff record? Uh, I don't know, eight, eight, two, two, I think, I think. I'm going to say that and maybe someone's going to correct me. No, it, it, it's, it's all right. Just started back work, which kind of sucks, but well, we're from Long Holloway. Um, how, how, how long, Wormthrax, and what were you doing? Oh, Pike and Lucky. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, and he's dead. Brilliant. Two rando blocks from Chaos Nurgle Warriors. And he killed one. That's annoying. That's annoying. That's annoying. Uh, I don't think you're dead. No, who are the remaining chorf blockers? We've got uh, Pyro. We've got Razzlestorm. We've got Tyranno. Uh, we've got TDS-19. And rando fucking block dodging shit. Um, right, that is literally the first move. So we're rolling a lot of. I feel like I sound a bit whiny, but we're rolling a lot of pushes.
Where are you going to go that's useful? That is a question. I think you're going to go all the way over there because there's nowhere that is useful. I feel like I only need to play more Wood Elf so we'll get to participate in these teams. Um, are you watching the Wood Elf Panda? Isn't there more like 20 games left? I don't actually know when the season ends, uh, Veli. When does it end? Eighteenth September. Ooh. Huh. I've been playing them off stream actually. I think we are. We're not having a good. We're not having a great time. We're in an all right time. Um, I think we are. Dude, Reno, you still here? Are we nine eight three zero nine three zero something like that. It's something like that. It's all right. It's all right. And as we call at the start of this game, um, 830. Thank you, Master Zen. Um, oh, Yalovin, thank you very much. Five months. Oh, yeah. Keep, Keep dodging them dwarfs. Keeping it real. So this... Uh, I said, I started at... Started talking about this at the beginning of the game. I said um, that this is hard work if um, if the momentum train doesn't happen because we don't take out a couple of players or um, it just it's just hard. And this, I think, is an exact um, is a representation of that exact problem, which is that man for man, he's just stronger. So to set up two dice blocks on the warriors because he's doing a good job of blocking on tagging on a diagonal. Um, I'm struggling. And we're finding it hard work. I needed to be a couple of players ahead to level out the natural strength advantage you've got. Like this chuff blocker is just going to get punched over next turn. This goblin's just going to get punched over next turn. And we're on turn six. Top three wood elves. Eleven seven one. Um. Oh, he's not even going to get punched over this turn. You get punched over now, and then he's not going to follow it up, and I've lost another two dice block. And the armor break. And it is pretty much the turn to start panicking, actually. Um. Because we needed to be on the halfway line. So, if you go there, that'll force a Nurgle Warrior dodge, but won't get me away from you. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need a double go for it, because I need it. Fuck my life. Um, you need to be there to make that dodge, and to make that get away. This is brilliant, isn't it? Um, 
Tentacles says no. We'll have to leave you. If we get away from this not conceding in the first half, I think we'll have done well. I don't think we'll score. Um, I think this will be at best nil-nil at the first half. And then we're going to have to turn him over. Someone's gone 7 3 0 with flings. Unbelievable. Yeah, no, this is this has gone really badly. So, um, we got a casualty. It's been a really... It's like it kept swinging from going really fucking badly to being fine, to being bad. Um, I, I think if I was reassessing the first half, th this half's all my fault because of that um, misclick. So, for those of you who just came in, uh, on about turn four, three, four, something like that, my first action was to dodge a chorf into a tackle zone because um, he'd been punched over as the last action of his, his turn. And I thought it was just walk up and walk back. And it wasn't. It was a dodge. Um, um, then, yeah, it was really bad. Really bad. Playing 650. 650 so you get all the inducement money, yeah? <clears throat> no, there's nowhere for me. There's nowhere for him to go next turn now. That stun has basically ruined it. Oh, that's assuming he doesn't get knocked over. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited about the t-shirt. I think it's ace. Ah, this, this half's fucked. Oh, well. going badly isn't it that wasn't your fault Might, we might cause some casualties and catch back, but we are miles behind now. Like, fucking miles behind. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can get to there. The beast could not glue me. So I'm going to need this pickup. Knockdown helps. Doesn't actually matter whether you follow this up or not. Have to make the pick up. Have to make the pick up. Have to make the pick up. And I also think you probably have to make the triple go for it. One, two, three, four. Oh fuck, the beast can still get me. So I'm gonna need to glue the bit. I'm gonna have to go and dodge him out as well. Um so it's less imperative to make this because. Where can you get to? So I have to stay in this line. Okay. So you're not relevant. The only two that are relevant now are these two. Uh, 
can go and stand in the way. Well, we got lucky there. But we are going to be playing next time, next turn, next half with eight, maybe eight against no mighty blow um, versus 11. So. Eh, that doesn't count and he's not hit me with it basically at all. Um, one of them hobos has got block wherever he is. Uh, yeah, so 30, 13 points. So I could make another ball carrier. I can make another ball carrier. We'll see if we can get out of this. Um... An interesting proposition to see what he does here. Break tackling away from... What is break tackling away with strength 4 against strength 5? 7 plus? Uh, does Andy have a 12-man roster? No, I've got like an 8-man roster, Veli. Break tackle doesn't check their strength. Tense makes it an eight. But tense is a way is a strength roll, not an agility roll. So it is just it should just it should be checking the character's strength. that one, didn't it? Um, is an uphill better than block with block? Um, that's the question, actually. So, um, a two dice block with block against no block, um, the failure rate is 33%. So there's a 33% fail. If it's a 7 plus dodge, the failure rate is 46% so the dodge away is crap so the two dice blitz block here is much better odds than a non-block so it's got to be the two dice blitz the two dice will peel blitz um, and as I'm behind I'm going to do that first because I knew there was a skull in the dice like I fucking knew um <gasps> Is there anything else worth doing? No. It's the Blitz. It is just the Blitz. It is the Blitz, isn't it? Because you can always... Ah, oh, fuck it. Right, I'm committing to the Blitz. So I'm going to commit to the Blitz because I think that's better odds. They're about the same because of foul appearance. Uh, stand up players first. Hmm... No, because if I go down there on the seven, let's go for this. Fuck it. Yeah, it worked. That doesn't mean to say it was the right play. It means it worked. You pick. Should we follow up? No. Um...
We got our, we got our KO back. Um, I think we need to put chuff blockers on the line because I need them to survive. And if I put goblins on the line, they're just not going to survive. Uh, did an important chuff die. Um, Helgen died. Um, so Helgen's had a strength bust. And he was on five points. So he would have got guard. Um, and he also caused two star player points worth of star player points this game. So I've not generated any star player points at all. Other than three star player points on the ball. Uh, and then my ball carrier died. So it's money, really. Um, we don't have any money to replace the players. That's why we've only got one ball centaur. Um, so yeah, Dom, yeah, yeah, you just play more games and then you have more players. It's not, it'll work its way out in the end. Uh, Sparky says, what's the record with the team? Um, someone checked it recently. I think it was eight, three, two, I think. It's all right. Uh, Rugbert says, how do people remember all the odds? I have such a terrible head for figures. Um, Rugbert, do you... Are you okay working out the odds when you know what the numbers are? Because for me personally, um, how did you score that? Uh, by being awesome, Robbo. Just being me. Yeah. Um, ch chorf dodge or something? No, there was no chorf dodging. I don't think it literally was any chuff dodging. Um, I did need two dice or pill on the beast to not roll a skull. No, there was no chuff dodging. There was some um, hobgoblin dodging. I accept that. Oh, there was also some shit chuff dodging. Yeah, yeah, I accept that. I accept that. Yeah. He was unlucky. Um, you have a numeric equivalent of dyslexia. Um, I can I can relate to that. Um, Sparky, that's a really good idea actually. That if you're unsure of some of the odds, um, having some of the common stuff written down is a really good idea. So, oh for fuck's sake, you've got no damage output. Oh, you've killed another one. God's sake. I don't have the money to replace these. There's three dead chorfs. Three. He's, and he caused another casualty. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. You have no damage output whatsoever and you've killed four players. Oh, well, this is me a draw. Two plus, two plus is better than three plus. Oh, no. Um, if you've got a re-roll, two plus, two plus is fine. But if you need two plus, two plus something else, normally one more, slightly more difficult roll is better than multiple easy rolls. It's, it, this isn't worth team restart time. It's just... It's just annoying we've lost three players. And it's the money. I don't have, like, I don't have the money to buy a ball centaur. So I then don't have the money to go and replace the chorfs. Asking for trouble. Uh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight versus eleven. This is going to take some. This is going to have to be swingy as fuck to get this back. Um, ah, Don, what, what, I'm what I was thinking about there was, you know, some people look, you know, when you've got, um, say this guy here, let's say he doesn't move him. So if you've got that, so this square here is a two plus throw and a two plus catch if you're an elf. Now imagine for a second that you are, the your elf you're trying to throw to is here. So you've got a choice between two plus two plus to throw from this square to get to there. So two plus two plus, two plus throw, two plus catch. Or you've got the option of three plus throw, two plus catch. Which one do you take? Or even, just making it slightly more simple, um, two plus go for it to throw to there. Two plus two plus throw, two plus catch, or three plus two plus. Which one do you want to do? Uh, what happened to the bull? Um, he got killed outright dead, Yarlipum. This team's had a bit of a, a bit of a shit run with injuries. But you should add I know, I'm not saying that two plus two plus is better than not better than three plus. I'm saying that normally in the real world, um dice like that don't exist. You normally have to consider them as part of a longer chain. And it's part of the It's part of the chain that's the problem. Tell him to say hi to Grandma. I don't understand. Three twos versus two three. Yeah, yeah, I don't disagree with that. What I'm saying is that a lot of the time... You know when people have a choice between making a two plus throw, sorry, a three plus throw, or making two go for it and then a two plus throw, it's always better to do the three plus throw than it is to do the two go for it. But you see a lot of coaches make that mistake, which is that they make the two go for it and then the two plus rather than just make the three plus initially. <laughs> Hello, Ham. Thank you very much. Samba says I'm wrong. Hang on. So four twos is better than... 3-2. I don't believe you. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. 4 twos with a reroll is 80. 81%. 81%. 3-2. 83%. Oh. Fuck all in it, right? But okay. That's really interesting. But if you don't have a reroll, ah, if you don't have a reroll, fifty-five percent or forty-eight percent. So if you, it depends whether you've got a reroll. Four two, no, four twos is actually still better than two three. Only just, but it is, and it's like itty tiny tiny itty bit. You really didn't get the dead grandma reference. No, not at all. Literally not even at all. Uh... Right, we are miles behind here. So, if we are miles behind, how do we level this up? Um...
Okay, now we're only a bit behind. What do I want to hit next? I feel like it's a one... Is it a one dice on the beast here? That sounds like a shit idea. Great tackle through here. Um, he's going to come down here if he picks the ball up. No. Nope. And I'm not giving him a free armor roll. Okay, so we're only one player, one player less down now. So we are four, five, six, seven, eight versus ten. Eight plays ten. So forty eight percent to get three four twos or fifty five percent to get three two. Yes, without a reroll. But with a reroll, the four twos win out. Imagine for a second now you use your reroll on your first two. Would you then swap to the three two? I think you would. Would you actually? That's a weird question. Let's have a look. So you use your reroll on the first on your first two. It's now 57 58% to get three twos in a row. And it's 55 to get three twos, so it's still slightly better. Okay. Hmm. All these choices are. Huh? Interesting to see whether he can recover this one. Has he used a reroll? No, he let it, he let it slide. I think he's got to use a reroll if this drops. This has got to be rerolled. Yeah. Now that is an interesting problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Huh. I can't actually stop him getting two dice on the ball carrier, potentially. But I could do some interesting stuff. So let's get you up. Let's get you up. I think we do stand everyone up this time. Now time for a blitz. One, two, three. Can the ball, can, the ball centaur be a hero again for the second time today? Notice the sure feet proc there. it doesn't I can't I couldn't get safe if I could have got safe um, I would have done or got semi safe I don't think this turn I was going to get anywhere near useful body armor thank you very much 22 months you've been here thank you um, he does need a push yes
it's more I'm thinking about the pestigors. So this pestigor can't get, get too far. I'm hoping he just blows a reroll on something silly here. Um, that is true, isn't it? Uh, worm thrax. If I, if I had made it, now there's no reroll to pick the ball up. So he's going with a different player to pick it up. So the ball could still be on the floor this turn. Hey, Baz. So what's he going to do here? That's good positioning. That I really like that. He's screening off the screen. That I really, I really like that. Well played. That I really not so like because if the beast goes silly here, I get two players back. And there's turnover potential. So no, didn't like that one, but I did like the first move. That the positioning element was very strong. if we can get out of this. Oh, he's got it. Boo. Right, so we know where the blitz is this turn. That's a three plus, isn't it? That's a shame. <clears throat> right, so we need to use the guard to get into here, to then block here. Um, what do we take to? Oh, no, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take on what I first initially thought. So we'll take. You. Oh, why did I follow that up? wasn't the dice roll I wanted. I wanted a pale so I could get closer. Oh well. Um, that's a warrior. I need to get you around here. So he's going to want to come down here but that that's trying to pre pre uh, preclude that Probability, possibility. If I fill that square and I make a box and I make it very, very, very chainable, um, let's have you there so you're not chainable. And that protects that sort of corner of the box. So let's go with that. Let's go with that. Ah, oh, Carla, thank you very much. Welcome to the show. Young Jagala fans, um, you join us at a very tense time. Uh, we're playing uphill against Nurgle um, with uh, presumably Hidden Mighty Blow. As they've kicked the living <coughs> crackers out of us. Oh. 
Has he got guard? I assume he has got guard, yeah. So I think the balls are now going to come forward. I mean, maybe we're okay here, maybe. Did you mean clear? Yeah. He just doesn't need to pile on, he just does it. It just it's just a thing. I don't think he activates the beast this turn, Wenthrax. I, I I do see a world, genuinely see a world here where um if he does bring the ball forward here, he's gonna have to um do a little bit of cheeky dodging. Because the double guard here is making this problem for him to solve quite difficult. Because that's that even with him stood up, that's two dice uphill that way. And with him stood up going one dice, it's one dice that way. And bear in mind he's just then stood up. Ooh. That's unfortunate. Now he's got two that way. Oh, he's left him again. No, that was no, so not the right play. Because if the beast had gone stupid, I had one dice on the ball straight away, just like that. You've got guard. You've got to stand up. We can get... I can tag the back out of you. But I think his numbers advantage is now going to kick in. I think his numbers advantage is about to kick in. Because he's gonna have three, he's gonna have three free players next turn, and I'm not gonna have enough to counter him. We can blitz here, and then go and stand there. I could stop there and go. No, that's crap. You'll be free next turn because I will punch you and not follow. This is a shit plan. Uh, I need the square of movement. I, I need to take the push. Because then I can't. Then I can break tackle out. Hold on one. They were some terrible dice. They were terrible dice. Oh, sugary chip. 19 months, thank you very much. Wow, 19. Boom. Boom. Now, he's he's completely out of reroll. So, yeah, we, we think we've had some poor dice on occasion this golf. Um, he needs to have some pretty good dice here. Um, otherwise, he's fucked. Oh yeah, there you go. Perfect, good, good dice. <sighs> there we go. And you can stand in front of the ball centre, and it's over.
Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Sugary, how are you? I don't know. I don't. I don't know what that move was. No. Oh, it's all right. Where have you been? If you don't mind me asking, I know it wasn't a criticism. It was more of a inquiry. Are you okay? Are you well? Yeah, that's that's how Zunk would have phrased it, right? Yeah, he'd have said, "Hey, are you well?" Um. Oh, Ronin, thank you very much. <laughs> underscore Andy, take my energy. You can do it, underscore. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Um, right. You could get there. How do I tag? Oh, hang on, you could just tag that. Ooh. With a cheeky double go for it, you could just tag that. One, two, three, four, five, six... And then you'd be back in the flight as well. I think I think we have to roll some dice here. But I think... I think we could get back into this. Right. I don't want you to get surfed, and actually you'll be relevant. Now, it's the cheeky double go for it to get there. And you need to do this. Yeah. Now the ball centaur dodges. Oh, God, yeah. Break tickle. Hang on. Well, you've got to make the first one. Sorry, you've got to make the second one because they're not getting surfed. So that that's interesting. Now, I think you're going to throw... I'm going to really push my luck and roll that. Because then neither of those are going to be helpful. And then we may as well... Just for the lulls. Dodge you away. Stand you there? Double, double, what does the double GFI do for me here? A lot or not? It gets me closer. That's what it does. So his, his escape play is a blitz here. And to be fair, his escape play is a blitz and they're going to stand over there. And I think he's far enough. I think the ball can't get him. So, Ronin, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. We're getting there. Um, Ijai says, hey Andy, from a strategy perspective, I think you misplayed this. When you only have one centaur, I think he needs to be a sweeper rather than a sailor ball ceiling mission. Um, you mean, Ijai, and I take the feedback on board. Do you think I misplayed this half? Where, when you say misplayed it, cool. Where? This half. Okay. So, when he fails to pick it up, 
What? What would he have not sent him forward at all then? Because if we, if and I'm not saying I'm right or I'm wrong. I'm just let's let's talk it through. It's interesting. So if I don't send him forward, he doesn't pick up the ball. My centaur stays back. He second time uses a, one of his re rolls because he's under pressure. It also blew another re roll because. He was under a bit of pressure. So we were down, down to one. You already won the up. Yeah, but I want to win, not draw. So my objective, by the way, just because you can say, oh, you misplayed it. Well, I'm playing for the win, not for the draw. What? If I don't send the ball centaur forward, he sits back. Now, the trade-off, and you, we don't know what would happen here. The trade-off is... I might have been getting some more claw hits and maybe get some more removals. Better than you, -ish. I'm all right, thank you. How you doing? He believes I could... Oh, really? Um... If you send a hobgoblin, he gets whacked over, for sure. I think you either do... If you do your approach, you don't send anybody. If you do... Or you send the ball. Yeah, and that's fine as a strategy, Kajice. Um That's that would be fine because um, you are then saying, "Well, actually, I'm going to go for the value, and I'm going to go for the two, trying to get value out the two claw mighty blow." Nothing wrong with that. I hear you. It is potentially a thing. I think the bull centaur got snuff, snaffled up. That was that was a problem. Oh, we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight versus ten. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. If you had two, I, I completely agree. With two centaurs, you go for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But this is why I'm trying to get two centaurs. I, what I like, Gajice, what by, by what you've gone and done is you've made everyone think about the strategy element. Um, because a lot of the time people complain about the dice. Uh, a great a great thing for me was when I was in Dor um, Dornburn this weekend. When I was in Bergen this weekend, um, one of the coaches I played, Straumi, um, I was actually staying at his house and he made me think we talked about the game afterwards and it made me think about not, not the dice, I didn't care about the dice we, Yeah, the result was a result because of the dice but because how how did I um, how many dice did I make him roll, how many dice did he make me roll i.e. the strategy of it um, and that was the most interesting bit of the whole lot did I did I win in inverted commas because I made him roll more dice? No. Right. So if you run that game ten times in a row, and God, you'd have to have all weekend to do it, but if you could do that game ten times in a row, who wins that engagement more? Me or him? And I honestly, I, I actually said to him, he wins that engagement more because I think he played, on average, a better, slightly stronger, and, and it was like 45-55 versus... Um, my game, it, the game result happened to be 1-1. One, one. Um, but it is important to cons consider 
how did you get to that result? Right. What are we on? Three turns. I've got three turns to go and go and score. Um, we need to be pretty much ball on ball. I need to be balls out here. So we've got a hit. We'll have that hit there. One, two, one, two. Ah, we have a we have a we have a strategy problem. We do indeed have a strategy problem. I'm going to struggle to rush this down the field. We'll see. I don't think this is going to work. things consider is whether you need to win to qualify um we have drawn some games with this team which is annoying i need the win to to re-roll the winnings to make some money um so that's that's definitely on my mind because next game we're going to have four chorf blockers and a bull centaur and the difference in shitty hobgoblins now that's a problem yeah i've got for an armor nine team when normally you run around with, what, three goblins? I'll be running around with six. That is a big problem. Uh, the dwarves of top tiers. No, you don't really see dwarves in any of the leagues, pri private leagues top tiers. Okay, so we have a problem, which is I've got a turn to, prov to provide a turn to get to the ball. That's a block. So, right. That goes there, that goes there. We'll take the value block first. Sun's actually not shit at this stage. Hey. So we can go there. I think you actually punch your way out. I'm going to take the claw hit on the other warrior. Which isn't value blocking. It does mean I can do this. I'm going to have to sacrifice that. Uh, he's got a pestigore that can come and be annoying. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to have to get at least four go for it's in the bag now. 
Fucking hell, fire. This is really bad. Have you got guard? Yes, so you can stay put. And fetch the ball. And I know he's got the dodge. I know, but we're players down. There's not a lot I can do about it. Three plus two plus without a reroll. Yeah, the loan is basically. He, he, yeah, I should I should have left him there really because I was not going to make the reroll if it didn't work. That was actually a bad dodge. I think I. I know it's results based thinking. Oh, it's been great, but actually, the upside, which is he stood about there, no one really cares. He's definitely tagging something. He is definitely doing something. The stun is terrible because I'm not going to get him back. Um, I shouldn't have done that dodge. So, back to my Necro team with 60k and 30 that going to Mighty Blow and the Wolf. Why are we going back to this panda? It's double Mighty Blows on the two puppies. What is else to talk about? Um, since they get to start on Landry Lemons TV, all positionals, but only one goal, three rerolls. Oh, right, you're not allowed to take two doubles. Oh. Uh, if you want to be greedy go mighty blow on a flesh golem if you want to be safe go block on a flesh golem but definitely definitely without even thinking about it skill up the other flesh go skill up a flesh golem and the reason for that is because once they've got block and guard they do a job they do a really good job but getting them points is a nightmare so it's you you a million percent of the time skill up a flesh golem um, th there is and this is this is maybe controversial the other way of looking at it is you could scale up if you've got 60k of skills to go you could go one block guard flesh golem and one block flesh golem um, because they'll be a bastard to level but because you'll have double skilled them, one's done, doesn't matter, and the other um, isn't done, but isn't far away from being done. And there is almost an argument for trading the Mighty Blow Wolf in at that point. Yeah, because you get three skills. So it's, it's actually, you're giving yourself um, 16 plus six star player points or you're giving yourself 6 plus 6 star player points. So it's an extra 10 SPP. Right, we need to tag that out twice. Well, they do all die eventually. Um, we're going to go for the incredibly bold. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. So I need to make three plus, two plus, two plus, and a double go for it next turn. You need to stand there. And I need to tag them out. This is fucking hero plays 101. Can you score? No, right. Um... I need to re-roll it. You have to fall over. Right, what have we got left? So, one, two. You're going to go and stand there. 
You're going to go and stand there. And you are going to stand there. Because then you block me towards the end zone. You're going to go there. This is like Tetris. You there. <sighs> Are you in the scoring range? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. So, actually, you need to stand there. Please work. If this could work, if this could just work, please could this just work. <laughs> so the reason for the guy being stood here, not here, was because um, he's also now a scoring threat. So I've got three scoring threats. Um, if you stood this side, the Pestigor dodges out and blitzes on two dice into here. If you stood this way around, that doesn't happen. I know it is setting for a heart. I am, it is, isn't it? It's setting up for. This is going to really upset you, Devo. So what we need now is a shit block from him that doesn't work. <laughs> um, and then I'm happy. Probably to see if David getting the dice he wants. I've had some I've had some strings this game. Hello, how you doing? Um, I'm all right, thank you. Then, if you've just tuned in, we've had a bit of a, a bit of a weird game. Um, all my casualties have been dead. So um, TDS has had a niggle; he's dead. Uh, Bull carrier hobgoblin he is dead, and Helgen's had a strength bust, so he's dead. Um, so uh, yeah, and all because I chose to save badly hurt on turn one or two, something like that. So it was pretty painful. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, don't care about the regen. Get out of the way. Oh, if I could just fill in that square, it's a chain push. Uh, so that's a go for it. One. Which actually is probably the right play. Yeah, it is. It is. It, it is the right play. And here's why. Be a push. Be a pal. So he would have been pushed into scoring range. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've now got to make two go for it, which I had to make anyway.
but the opportunity to get to get into scoring range. Oh. Right. Thank you, opponent. So, time for some heartbreak. Here we go. Yes! Made it. Made it. We made it. That was amazing. <laughs> yes! Yeah, we've replaced the ball carrier. We have. So. Thank you very much. Um, but I'm going to play another one after this. Um, I just wanted to show everyone this, by the way. I put I bought this and it came in the post this weekend and I'm really pleased with it. Look, I have my own t-shirt. How amazing is that? I don't know if it's picking it up because of the camera, but we have our own t-shirt. Doesn't that look cool? We've got a one on the winnings. Get off. Get off. Come on, roll properly. Yes. Um no, I don't want to buy that goblin. Oh, he's died. He died. He deaded. So, star player points, don't know, not lots. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Rony, that didn't work. Why did that not work? I'll let that through. Underscore, uh, you cheeky bastard, IT worked. <laughs> Underscore. <laughs> uh, yeah, until you have money, money to keep the niggle. Um... Well, I suppose. Let's have a look at the state of the team. Let's have a look at the state of the team. Nine elf, God. It's a sad time. Um, so, let's take Sartersfield. What do you level up, Sartersfield? Oh, you took, a, you took an agility increase, which is a ball carrier. That's going to be terrible, isn't it? I mean, that's a terrible player. So, I'll have one of those. And Kieran's, what did you level up? Strength? Um... I think you're going to level up with Mighty Blow because you're going to do some you're going to do some mobile hitting. Right, Helgen, I'm really sorry, but you're dead. So we've got 120k. A chorf block is 70k. So if I buy, I can buy a chorf blocker now, and I could buy another one to replace TDS at the end of the next game. Or I buy a bull centaur, which is what? How much are they, actually? No, I'm just buying... Right, we're, bu we're buying... We're definitely buying the Jorf blockers. So we'll bin that off. Well, I'm going to put Ronin on the team. And you can have a massive beard with some skulls in. Welcome to the team that gets killed. <laughs> there we go. Right. 1100 TV. Ouch. 